Hi hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I couldn't resist. I purchased this Intel Core 2 Quad Q6700 2.66 gigahertz 8 megabytes of cache as opposed to the uh, 4 megabytes that I currently have on the E6600 running at 2.4 gigahertz. So I'm going to throw this into the Dell Optiplex. So if we look at the Intel processor identification utility, you can see here it's the Intel Core Duo, Core 2 Duo CPU E6600 at 2.4 gigahertz. And the L2 cache memory is 4 megabytes on Core 1 and 4 megabytes on Core 2. So this will increase these to 8 megabytes each. Let's get started. So this is going to be quick since I just changed the processor. Take the cover off, get everything unplugged. Move this out of the way. I am going to need to move this hard drive out of the way. And just need to undo those screws. Give it that up and out. So press this handle down and to the right, move it up out of the way, pick this cover off here, make sure I don't have any static on me, take out this CPU, holding the edges, clean that off later. I will go ahead and remove this, even though it's new. So here's the new processor. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like there's some material here. I don't know what that is. So I just cleaned it away. All right, so let me get some Arctic Silver on this and then install it. See if it works. All right, I've got the Arctic Silver on. Nice even coat. Got the arrow and the notch in the right direction. Just need to seat this here. Let's drop it in. That's in. Just lower this. Move this bar down again. Underneath the tab, there it is. And now we just need to install the heatsink. So pivot this in, 
over it. And set. Just snug. I can put the hard drive back now. this back in. This is actually the hardest part is just getting this to slide back in. There it goes. All set. Should be all set. Hopefully that works. Let's get it back together. Well, that's a good sign because with that one CPU that failed, it turned on as soon as I uh, attached the power cord in the back. So that seems okay. All right, so now we look at the Intel processor identification utility. Got quad core here, core one, two, three, and four, and L2 cache memory, eight megabytes. So that's working. All right, so I think that's about it for upgrades on this Dell Optiplex 745, because by by now I could have taken that money and probably invested in an i3 or i5 processor computer. But at least I've got a four core processor now. This is the Intel Core Quad CPU Q6700 running at 2.66 gigahertz. Hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching.